Well, thank you for meeting with me today, Howard. Let's start by talking about why Tribeca was a good match for Flashpoint. Now, we have, for probably the last year or so, been looking to expand and also looking to find a partner that was uh, both a strategic partner as much as a financial partner. Uh, the Tribeca situation in particular offers employment opportunities, training opportunities, sort of uh, joint projects and things like that. So when we found uh, that they were very much simpatico to sort of the focus here and the commitment we made to excellence and the way we do things, uh, it turned out that it was just a really logical uh, partnership. How does the partnership benefit not only the film students, but you know, also the recording artists and the game developers that you have here at Flashpoint? Well, look, the, uh, there's a couple of different respects. If you take a, a guy like Harold Ramis, all right, so Harold Ramis is not simply making films. He's voicing the Ghostbusters game, or Liev Schreiber, who's doing Shakespeare in the Park, the movie Defiance, and then he's Sabretooth in uh, X-Men 3, okay? So what's happening is games have to be more narrative. Uh, all the technology in the world doesn't mean anything if it isn't a good story, so storytelling. And on the other hand, the, the film students have to understand that sound design and really, you know, how you work with sound in making your film or whatever project you're on is also a very important part. I mean, try watching a movie with the sound turned off. So all those different kinds of folks um, interact with the people from Tribeca. All the different production slots in a show will be coming through here and all of those will be available to and part of what's going on for the students. Do you think that students who train here in Chicago still need to go to those big markets like LA and New York to find work? The key to these businesses is our relationships and networking. And if you can get an introduction uh, you, in New York or in LA, that's terrific. We can handle that for our students and we expect to do a lot of that. But honestly, there's tremendous amount of interactive media going on in Chicago. There's six pilots being filmed. We're about to you know, get involved with filming a, a show for A&E here. We're doing another pilot, you know, here momentarily. So I think there's plenty of work to do here. And honestly, I think you do better to be a talented student here for a while or a talented grad here than to go out and fight with 10,000 other, you know, sort of wannabes on the either coast. And Tribeca has its first virtual version of its film festival. What do you think about virtual technology? Well, I think that, you know, we're maybe a year away from it being the common distribution system that Netflix or Redbox or any of these folks. And, you know, this idea that your computer is somehow a diminished way of watching, you know, ignores the fact that people are putting in larger and larger screens in their homes. They're building home theaters, uh, your family entertainment center is honestly as compelling a viewing area with all the speakers and things you can surround it by as uh, the theater might be. And you know, this issue that you should see movies with your friends, honestly, uh, sometimes you'll have better friends at home watching a movie and they'll be quieter and cooler than the you know various people you're subjected to in the theater. So digital distribution is gonna grow. Amazon has a big program. Tribeca Films is going to be doing distribution, you know, it'll be traditional distribution, but um, all kinds of virtual distribution, uh, you know, can be expected in the next year or two. Well, apart from collecting really amazing artwork that you've displayed a lot of here at Flashpoint Academy, you also collect Pez dispensers, which I think is really cool. Can you tell me more about your collection? You know, I, uh, what's happening with Pez dispensers is they're becoming, uh, now, customized and of course not by Pez so you can see over here so this guy just came so he's a he's a Ronald guy now I'm sure this offends both the Pez people and the McDonald's people together but uh, lately that's what uh, that's what's been sort of intriguing is to see I've got a few from Spanish artists where they have these wonderful sort of caped crusader guys and bullfighters and things well thank you for sitting with me it was really great to meet you and good luck with the partnership Oh, 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 oh.